What is up, homies? Welcome back to the final episode of the year of the Checks of Forever podcast. of the Year. Of forever of never, Forever never, of the Year of Forever. Ever, ever, ever. Never again <laughs> happening. Sorry. Uh, hope you all had a happy holiday. We're recording this the day before New Year. Yeah. You're seeing this the day of New Well, New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve. Um, uh-huh. So thank you for being here. Thank you for Yay. spending your final day of 2022 with Yay. us. It's crazy that we're already here. We have a very special episode today. Yeah, um, we're doing we something some... that we've never done before. <laughs> we've—I feel like we've done a variation, but never this like oh, yeah. formal. Yeah, say. this is officially formal. We have envelopes. <laughs> with the, we got with envelopes the, and everything. With the font, you guys have clicked on it. You know what you're getting into. We are presenting to you the Heroes Reforged Awards. AKA Tonight. the Reforgies. The Reforgies. <laughs> things, we have, things might happen at the end of this episode. We have many. <laughs> the Reef Orgies. We have many Reforgies to give out. So you're going to want to stay tuned for the whole episode uh, to man. see which of your favorites will win a Reforgie. Yeah. Uh, it's everything that we've, uh, uh, the things that are that are qualifying yeah. as, as uh, potential nominees this yeah. year are the movies and TV shows and various TV specials and shorts and things that yeah. we watched together right. this yeah. year. Right. And if you're, watching this award show and later you see a, an award for something that you're like, these guys didn't watch it this year. You got to get on Patreon. That's yeah. right. You that's, get it out, baby. That's where you the do. after party is. That, yeah. There are so many exclusives on there that <laughs> you should feel left out. Yeah. Because th- th- these awards- They never watched Arcane. Are f- mm-hmm. 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 They never watched it's on, RRR. Mm-hmm. It's on Patreon. Mm-hmm. So go and check it out if you'd like. Um, also, what, what, these what awards, it? like all other awards, are bullshit and they don't yeah, matter yeah. and they're our opinion. So <laughs> just have fun. The thing that made me really excited about, though, when Hector was like, hey, we should do this, was, it was Augustine's idea. Oh, was it was your idea? My idea, oh, baby. Augustine idea. said, hey, Hector, you should write a bunch of these. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's right. I, don't, I forgot. Where did you see it? Or you? How did you come up with it again? Um, well, I you, you heard of something watching. called the Academy Awards, I think. <laughs> yeah, there was this small thought, thing called the Oscars. You might have heard the, of yeah, the, the Oscars. The, you're like the, the Oscars. Oreos. You said, yeah. We could do the Oscars. Oscar. I know Oscar. We could do Oscars. <laughs> yeah, I know the Oscar. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> but uh, the thing that I loved about it, because you know, th- those any sort of award show that deals with like. I guess Hollywood just in general, everything is always so like segmented. Yeah. You only have like certain awards for certain things. And we were like, this is a great opportunity that we can literally do everything that we've watched. Everything is valid. It doesn't matter what genre, what universe it's from, all that Mm -hmm. stuff. Uh, That that to me was the most exciting part about it. It's our show. So we can make up our own categories. That's right. And we can call it the Reforgies and make it sound a little dirty. Exactly. And you might have a little surprise at the end. (laughs) But Adam, just to let the people know too, to go back to Patreon for a second, we were just chatting about it. It's really, really cool. What are people getting at that specific tier? You said that people have been checking out the $10 tier? Yeah. What is it? Our hero tier, if you sign up for that, you get access to early reactions to movies that we've been doing. So we've been adding a lot of more movies to our to our roster of stuff that we've been doing. So we've been doing Willow right before the show came out. We we're talking about doing stuff in the new year. We did the Lord of the Rings movies, mm-hmm. the original trilogy. What else have we done? We watched, we watched so and, much and stuff. Yeah, we a often, lot of stuff. Especially on the movie side, we often kind of listen to what people are saying in our yeah. community and we're yeah. essentially taking mm-hmm. requests. Yeah, so yeah, it's yeah, a yeah. great space to go and to chime in on Patreon and mm-hmm. hit us up in the mm-hmm. comments because we're always yeah. reading all that the stuff. The most so. recent one that we did was Avatar in 3D, which was really, yeah. really fun. That was a lot yeah. of fun. Yeah. Yeah, and that's that on YouTube, blast. but the whole but the movie, the whole baby, yeah, the whole Patreon. shebang, that's, that's really on Patreon. You, that's really mm-hmm. what you want right Yeah, now. so we were talking about how exciting it is because it seems like our audience is very excited because they've been upgrading their tier. They've been doing the yearly subscription as well, which is a new thing that's been on Patreon in the last few months. Hey, so can we cheers to all time. our patrons, by the way? Hang on. Cheers. Nazdravi. <laughs> Nazdravi. Oh, that was a good one. <laughs> Cheers. To Cheers all the, to the patrons. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but also, <sighs> cheers that there's Ooh, that's really good. 100 and some odd pay, uh, subscribers left to wow. 100K. Oh, my, oh my god! It's oh my on god. YouTube. It's the slowest oh climb god. ever. Oh, my so god! So cheers, cheers to the last 100 Guys, if we had 70 YouTubers. If we had 100,000 subscribers on January 1st, that, that would like, be fantastic. Right at midnight. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That'd be great. That'd be great. That would be amazing. It can happen. Good. It can happen. We can, can pray happen. to sweet baby Jesus. That's right. It stay, can happen. Stay tuned. If you're watching this and you are not yet subscribed for free on YouTube, do it because we got plans. A yeah. bunch of awesome uh-huh. stuff is uh-huh. coming yeah. down the line here in 2023. Yeah. We have so many different shows, <clears throat> classic shows, yeah. right? Um, 
New and, movies. And new movies coming out, yeah. classic movies that we're going to do reactions to and discussions and edit that stuff and put it on YouTube. And we, even some of the stuff that's currently only on Patreon mm-hmm. is eventually going to find, yeah. find its way on eventually, YouTube. Eventually. Subscribe. You don't want to miss any yeah. stuff. Subscribe. But this is good. also the holiday episode. Yeah. Before we get going, we're going to exchange gifts. Hector didn't get any of us anything. Yeah, so. he's a real Son screw of a that guy. <laughs> You're a real piece of screw shit. Guy. What wow. a piece of shit. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Just wow. Kidding, Even though he bought them like three months ago. <laughs> <I know. laughs> he so them we were, we were originally before. supposed to shoot this episode um, before yeah. Christmas, but I, I, I had a cold, so Thank I didn't want to. I didn't Thank want to get you. anybody potentially sick, so we held it off until till today. So this is what Hector got me. Yeah, thanks. Fantastic. We were watching X-Men uh, on Patreon, and I keep saying, I need to know why they made these production choices, <laughs> because they're so fucking weird. Yeah. They're so strange. And so this has a lot of answers to all that stuff. Probably not all of them, but a lot of good answers. So That's great. this is really cool. It's got a lot of really great art. It's got pictures of the original animated cells, which I really love. Mm. I, love I love all that kind of stuff. So I haven't started it yet, mm-hmm. but I will. Get through this, and by the time we finish X Men, I will also know everything about You'll be a X-Men. subject matter yes. expert. Yeah, I will be the subject matter X Men expert. And Adam, I got you also another book at yes. Barnes, Barnes and Noble. Yes, the, the Art of the Batman, which was yeah. awesome. Great, you're very, yeah. very excited. Uh, and I got a lot of amazing gifts. How, how come you're not wearing your shirt, man? I know. I didn't think about it until <laughs> we started talking. Oh, Abby, God. Abby made me a shirt, uh, a custom made shirt that says, "I'm." I'm too plexi for this shirt. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So if anybody knows, like I, we, we're big in the, this is a big plex community oh, yeah. here. Oh, yeah. uh, we love, we love putting our movies on plex. Yeah. So she custom made me a shirt that says I'm too plexi for this yeah. shirt. And it's probably the greatest Damn gift it. I've ever received. It's so good. <laughs> and I also got some, um, I got a Michael Myers uh, Christmas ornament. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What else was in there? There's a little Michael Myers little, figurine. Little tiny toy. There were some gummies in there. Mm-hmm. Um, what was the other? There was one other I thing. I can't remember. I think. Well, anyway, there's a lot of really. Yeah, there's a lot of good there. stuff. There's a lot of good stuff. So, anyways, Adam, this is your gift from Thank you. Uh, Cynthia and myself. Thank you. And these are gifts that Adam has bought us. Yeah. <sighs> oh your gift gosh. is not as exciting. It's okay. Only because I got that for him, and then he unwrapped it at Hector's house, and I looked at Hector, and I was like, "Oh, that? Hector didn't know." <laughs> so I was like, "All right." Oh. Uh, then, then I thought about giving you that, but you know, that would have been fun. regifting. <gasps> Ooh. Please tell me you didn't buy that. Ooh, no, I did not. Okay, good. Thankfully, <laughs> and I have the art of uh, the first Avatar. Oh. And that was why. That was why. Wow, the limited 3D ooh, edition ooh. of Tom Augustine God. has officially joined. The 3D, the 3D club. TV club. I bought myself a 3D, 60 yeah. inch monster 3D TV. Oh, hell yeah. Thanks, Adam. So I was like, this is awesome. at first I, I have gonna, a trash can over here. Hector. At first, I was going to try to oh, get Avatar ground. 1, but uh-huh. uh, I couldn't find it. Oh, yeah. In yeah. Time. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I was like, well, this will be a great movie well, for you and Cynthia I'm to enjoy. I'm going to have to buy it. So. This is great. How did they make that Navi pregnant? <laughs> Concept art. That's I took, awesome. I took Thank my you family so to see Avatar The Way of Water, and at the end, my mom cried and, and oh. gave it a round of applause. And I was like, Thank God. Need, so I think fun. I taped that up. You might need a knife to Look open at this. The forward That's by, not a knife. Forward by Robert Rodriguez. Oh, hey, it's a good thing that I didn't open this with the label forward. Because <laughs> yeah. your address is on there, bro. It oh, is. yeah, good. Hold on, let me see this if I can. Has a forward by Robert Rodriguez, and this is written by Tara Bennett, who I believe was also one of the <laughs> writers of the the story of Marvel Studios. That huge, oh, ten year, really? gorgeous oh, books, wow. gorgeous books. Nice. So you know, this gonna be good. Thanks, bro. Oh, you know, it's gonna be good. Don't show that. <laughs> People yeah, just are like, put it in behind right the now. laptop. We're gonna Enhance. upload this episode in 360p. Enhance. So I got Enhance. something. Ad, I got Adam something <gasps> really cool. What? Um, what? What did you get him? It looks like a cup. It looks like a cup. But it's not a cup. What is it? I'm intrigued. Oh, my God. Is it a, <laughs> what is it? A big Tootsie Wait, roll? can you what tell by not looking? Are they pucks? <gasps> what? Pucks that it's have been koozie? turned into a koozie. Yo! <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Those are real pucks. That's amazing. Those wow. are real... Uh, <clears throat> wow. It's made by my neighbors in Slovakia. <laughs> Very oh, nice. Oh, Nasravi. Hey, Thanks, man. This is Feliz awesome. Feliz Navidad. That's awesome. That's yeah. so cool. For yeah, the so those player, are yeah. lover in your life. Them out. If nice. there's anything Adam loves more than all of the nerdy shit we talk about, hockey. it's hockey. Right. And That's we never, right, baby. And we That's never, right. never indulge that love. 
No, and we, we don't. That's we why I'm wearing my hockey Mighty oh, Duck shirt. Man. Well, we were actually looking uh, to get tickets to a game on the 11th of February because they're playing the Penguins. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's cool. I'm going to be busy. Guys, should we do the award show? <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm down. Let's go. We, more beer. <laughs> the uh, 11th? We, should, we, we should go. We should yeah, go to a hockey game. Super, I, feel, yeah. I feel like I've only been to one or two. I've never been to so yeah. hockey games in yeah. my life, mm-hmm. and it's fun. Yeah. <gasps> You're a virgin to the game. <laughs> yeah, I am. Uh, yeah, they're super, super we fun. Have a okay. visitor in the studio. Well, oh, who it little is? Little Lola Alvarez Lola. is uh, lost in the room here. And may knock over the camera. Lola. <laughs> <laughs> She's too tiny. Too tiny. Hi. Hi. Uh, but yeah, so, I mean, outside of outside of that stuff, you know, we've been putting out our reactions to, to Willow as well. We are, even though we are recording this, we are taking like a little bit of a, of a break for a couple of weeks um, just so we can have a little bit of time to kind of reset set our batteries yeah. and uh, <laughs> enjoy some enjoy some enjoy some free time and some alone time because you know yeah. we we've we've recorded so much stuff this year and we're super proud of everything that we've recorded but we definitely like needed a little bit of a of a break and a mm-hmm. and a breather mm-hmm. so Go there's stuff that we're like pre we pre-recorded that we'll be releasing and then I think the first thing that we're doing is going to be The Last of Us. I think that's the oh, first really? thing. Yeah, that's okay. the first. Oh, are we not doing that's that? That's the first yeah, sure. series thing that we're doing, for okay. sure. Awesome. Um, Did I just yeah. commit to something I shouldn't no, have? No, no, no. No, that's, that's the first thing we're doing. Yeah. And then uh, we're still trying to figure out the rest of the schedule because yeah. there's... Hector and I were talking. 2023 is it's massive. massive. Yeah. We're going to be... And we thought 2022 was massive because everything Dude. got pushed over. Dude. Yeah. And yeah, that's not exactly the this case. Next year, we're going to be busy. Yeah. It's going to be massive. I yeah. think we're going to have a lot of cool stuff come out yeah. uh, coming this coming year. So mm-hmm. I think one, almost Barbie, too much one, stuff. Barbie. Yeah, of that's course. Right. Absolutely. So we're going to watch all the Barbie movies leading up to Barbie. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and then the Sonic, 3. <laughs> Sonic 3. Gotta be <laughs> Sonic 3. <laughs> is that coming out next year? I think so. I'm sure it is, right? Yeah, probably. I think Sonic 3 is surprised. they already filmed it? I have no idea. <laughs> I got no clue. I All got right. no clue. I really hope Ugly Gentlemen, Sonic comes out. Me too. <laughs> <Sonic> <laughs> <laughs> uh, Here's my pal, Ugly Sonic. <laughs> hey, they Sonic. do some. They do a, like an Avengers Endgame moment. <laughs> yeah. And Ugly Sonic's like on your left, coming through a portal. <laughs> that would be yeah. amazing. Great. <laughs> that would be so funny. Mm. <sighs> so Hector, okay, yeah. Hector. We, so when we when I put out this idea of yeah. of doing the show. I only expected us just to read these things. Hector and Abby went through the amazing effort of giving us cards. Yes. So we can officially uh, and Abby go was ahead like, and... Abby was like, let's type these up with some nice font <laughs> so that you can show it to the camera. I was, like, Comic I, Sans. I was like, I wasn't expecting to show it to the camera, but sure, let's show it to the yeah, camera. I mean, so, we can. We don't have a second camera to zoom in. So. so I think we are now ready to begin the 2022... Oh, wait. That's a good one. Wait, where's the theme song? There's no theme song. It's now oh, R2D2. That's right. That's the intro. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Thanks, everybody. Welcome, everybody, to the first you, annual yeah. uh, Reforgy Orgy. <laughs> <laughs> the 2022. Where your pals, Heroes Reforged, the Heroes Reforged uh, will be giving us uh, their... Un, un, there's, there's no way you can argue with these choices. Uh, <laughs> there, there, there's always right, never wrong. Yeah. Choices of best things, absolutely objective. Uh, this absolutely, and we also absolutely, one hundred percent did not make nominations. We just are going to give you the winners. Yeah, no, th- there's no. You're not giving any yeah. your opinion. We're not what. trying to do a three-hour so, show. Yeah, yeah. That's basically what we're saying. <laughs> okay, Adam. so what's the first category that we have, mm. Adam? What do we got? The first category is. Best, Best score. score. Okay, we Great choices this year. We don't need to show off every envelope. To have, <laughs> Look, at least the first one. So when Abby watches this, okay, yeah. at least okay. you did it. Adam, you got to say, it. and the award goes the, to... And the award for best... No, the Reforgy <laughs> for best score goes to Michael Giacchino, The Batman. Ooh. Bum, bum, which okay. I actually just bum, listened to on the way bum. here. Yeah, that was a bum, good one. Bum, yeah, bum. yeah. yeah. Uh, terrifying avoid copyright strike <laughs> dun, 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 it's amazing dun. yeah it's, a it's really good score. It's you really, know what's really, really, good. really funny about the score was when it came out because it came out right before the movie or like right as the movie came out I yeah. listened to it first yeah. and I was like alright it's it's a decent score man in the context of the movie sure. yeah. it is a banger yeah, yeah. I really need to rewatch score. that movie again because yeah. it really blew me away and yeah. I 
that that movie reignited uh, or, or ignited a love of just like old muscle cars for me. Oh my I'm just God. like, damn, that scene, yeah. that scene with the car yeah. was absolutely yeah. incredible. So, you ever, yeah. cheers you ever... to Michael Giacchino. You will be receiving your Reforgy in the mail <laughs> later on this year, oh next God. year. You know, we have no idea what a Reforgy looks like. No. I think we can leave it up to the audience. I think the audience mm, can design our award. Fan art challenge. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Design yeah, yeah. it. And if you send it yeah. to us, like, we'll, we'll, maybe I'll Photoshop some photos together. Yeah. If anybody yeah. has a 3D printer, 3D print <laughs> oh one for my us. Oh, God. That would be we'll amazing. We'll display a Reforgy here. Don't go through that trouble because it, <laughs> it may be ugly and you went through all that trouble. And we're not going <laughs> to. Oh whatever. Whatever you want. Somebody's, if you, somebody's going to 3D print it and it's going to look like a Doug Trio, like three dicks. Yeah. With our faces that's fine. On it. Here you go. Well, somebody can whittle one out of wood. Can't. It's fine. Anyway. <laughs> okay. What's our next uh, award? Our next award is Best Sequel, aka Best Squeakwool, because mm. we know it's going to be Alvin and the Chipmunks. <laughs> oh, if they had one this year. You know it. Oh, my God. If they had one this year. It happens every year. Mm-hmm. So the award for a best sequel goes to a Willow. 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 The Willow. show Willow. Uh, very appropriate time because uh, it's a sleeper hit, you guys. There's mm. listen, Nobody's watching I, it. You guys are watching it, and <laughs> I know it, it, but it's okay. 98,000 people, nobody's watching it. I'm like, come <laughs> we, on, guys. We, come yeah. on, guys. It's, we're, it's a great sequel. We're though. thoroughly enjoying the show. Yeah. I like it more than the original movie. I do, too. Well, yeah, we were no. talking about, too, and we were saying, like, I don't go into a Willow sequel the same way I go into, let's say, WandaVision. Mm -hmm. My expectations are totally different. I think a lot of people that are watching it are going equal expectations. I'm like, but the movie Willow is silly. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I don't know, but I'm enjoying it. Yeah. I I mean, mean, look, the way I see it, I'm like, look, a, a person got bird shit in their mouth as a joke for being a bad person. Like... This show is basically on the, you know, like it's it's not that serious, guys. This show is doing that and more. And like I this think, show is I great. Think I've seen the people who are watching it and who are like fans of the original movie are really enjoying the yeah. show. Yeah. And yeah. so I'm like, yeah, I feel like they they did pretty much nail that, you know. Yeah. And if it's not the greatest show in the world, it's like, well, I don't think no offense, I don't think Willow's the greatest movie. movie of like all time. it's yeah. not that kind of thing. It's it's a story with characters that you enjoy. Right. And, yeah. And right. You like spending I time. I equate to something like Goonies. It's just like a fun adventure. Yeah, a hundred percent. It's just sure. like that. Yeah, it's so yeah. much fun. Yeah. All right. So every person on the crew of uh, the Willow, you'll be receiving your Reforgy in the mail. <laughs> <laughs> and next, the award for best prequel. Oh. And the Reforgy goes to. Yep. That's one very that very very Prey. Ooh. Yeah. Best prequel. That's a, dude. That Prey. one deserves yeah. a, a round of applause. One, that's a good one. one Five minutes standing ovation. Dan Trachtenberg, you'll be receiving your Reforgy in the mail. In the not, mail. Not only the uh, the best prequel of this year, I think one of the best prequels ever made. It's very, I, very I, good. I, I, I don't want to go so far as to say I think that it's going to like eclipse the original Predator. Yeah. But right. I don't think many things can right. in like pop culture and all that stuff. But I definitely... I enjoy Prey more than Predator. That's mm. just my own personal yeah. thing. Like, yeah. man, I love yeah. the hell out yeah, of that I, movie. I think, I think in terms of like quality and just yeah. how fun it is and how kind of like edge of your seat type of a movie it is, it's right up there with the original Predator. I think I Dan Trachtenberg did something really smart and really kind of unseen at this point with prequels and sequels or, yeah. you know, like mm-hmm. just other additions to a franchise in which he took it and elevated it to yeah. a point where the series needed to go rather than like mm. where the fans kind of wanted it to go. I agree. Yeah. And you like, know what else is cool? I was going to say, um, apparently they're doing, they're doing Predator comics right now at Marvel because, mm-hmm. you know, Disney now owns Predator right, and right, Disney yeah. owns right. Marvel Comics. So they're coming out with this Predator comic. Mm. And in the comic, it revealed, if you consider the comic to be canon, yeah. that the first ever time a Predator came to Earth was from the movie from Prey. From that movie. Oh, and that really is the first ever. That's the first you know, one. Wow. I think it's so nice. cool. Yeah. That's, rad. That's rad. Anyway. That's all right, amazing. Adam. So what's the next category? Oh, the next, the next yeah. category is, that shit was fucked up. Yeah. Okay. And the Reforgy. <laughs> Wait, get the get the paper yeah. quickly. Get the get a four. Yeah, she go. goes to Hellraiser. <laughs> <laughs> that was actually really fucked up. It was. <laughs> that shit was fucked up. That shit was fucked up. Uh, we in October, you know, we spend time. We're like, let's watch Halloween and let's watch Werewolf by Night. And then they dropped Hellraiser on Hulu, and we're yeah. like, should we throw it in? Let's throw it in. Yeah, and that's only on Patreon right now. Yeah, it's only on Patreon right now. Yeah, it's Patreon Patreon right now. And mm-hmm. that was when you had to like come back from a trip, and it was like really late at night. So it was oh, like yeah. one of those movies where like, what 
the fuck is happening? Yeah, it's yeah, crazy yeah. And movie. that shit was fucked up. Yeah, that shit yeah. was fucked up. <laughs> yes. Truth, I'm not brother. much of a, I'm not Truth, much of a Hellraiser fan. No. That, that movie was not my cup of tea, but, but that think, shit was think, fucked up. I think it was my favorite Hellraiser movie. Yeah, Probably. The, I've only seen the original, maybe. And okay. I haven't seen yeah. I heard the one with a young Henry Cavill is good. Oh, really? Whichever oh, really? Hellraiser it is. Like, yeah. I don't Hellraiser know which one Hellraiser 40, 40, 47. Yeah. I don't know. 83. But, yeah. but yeah. Hellraiser 2022 is all right. Yeah. Okay. It's all right. Everything made a sequel. And it made the award. It made the award show. So every person that worked on that movie, you're getting in the mail, buddy. This next one. This next one is a good one. This is a this is a an S tier category. Yes. Best cameo. Oh, mm. My goodness. This Thank you. Award Thank goes you. to. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe it. Aquaman in Peacemaker. Uh, yeah! Miracles do happen. <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, honestly, that Momoa. was Momoa is hilarious. That is dude. so yeah. funny. Yeah. yeah. Unexpected. One, one super funny. Two, that whole cameo thing was like yeah. I never would have expected in a million years. Mm-hmm. I mm-hmm. loved Peacemaker. Oh my god. I so thought good. it was so great. Yeah. I still hope that we will get a season two. I don't know. But I don't know exactly. Don't know. Yeah. It, dude, dude things, are, yeah. things are moving. Things, yeah, are, things moving are moving in DC. I, 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 don't know. I honestly, you know, we were talking about how we were like not on social media much this week because yeah. we're just kind of taking a break. I'm like, yeah. what's James Gunn been tweeting yeah. about? <laughs> That's true. What's he been responding to? He has been putting out and uh, shutting down misinformation yes. and putting yeah. down proper information. Yes. Yeah, so. yeah, which is great. That's all I'm here for. It's yeah. crazy. Speaking of, all right, Hector, our next Heroes Reforged Award. Is for the category of most inconsequential cameo. Mm, this is a good one. Most oh, no. inconsequential cameo. And the Reforging goes to Superman in Black Adam. Oh. <laughs> Henry Cavill, we love you. <laughs> Henry Cavill. Superman. Oh, you were a great Black Superman. Adam. It's amazing how on Monday, on Monday, you're like, I have a job for another five years. And on Tuesday, they go, No, you don't. No, you don't, uh, bud. Oof, yeah. oof, but but look, he's going to be in the Warhammer That's series, a topic so. for a oh whole posh podcast yeah, episode yeah, at this point because yeah. Yeah. everything that's like out there and like how this came to be is just yeah. kind of interesting to talk about. Well, so. and I think yeah. and I think it's okay to, to tell people that, you know, we talked about maybe talking about DC stuff in this episode, but we're like, you know what? If James Gunn is going to make some announcements in January, let's just right. wait. Yeah. Let's just right. wait. Let's, let's wait. wait for that to happen. Yeah. Right. And, and then, then we'll we see. can have something and then to we'll discuss. See. We'll do yeah. some other stuff for Chexican's episodes. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Because... We don't know how, <laughs> how things change so quickly. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. talk about a like man when people go back and rewatch not just Black Adam, basically any movie in the DC extended <laughs> yes. universe at this point, it's going to be this weird, weird thing of like. Remember yeah. when this what, was a thing? What were they? And here's yeah. here's some attempts at like yeah. them trying to plan out stuff, but it obviously they didn't have a plan, and yeah. the other plans superseded these plans, and yeah. it is not easy to make a shared universe. In movies, across yeah. different movies. If it no, were, everybody no. would have figured it out by now. And man. The Dark Universe wouldn't have lasted yeah. one movie. Man. Black Adam is just such a great example of like, yeah. he, okay, th- it, this is what we waited for 13 yeah. years? Like, yeah. <laughs> guys. Crazy, bro. <laughs> you got to hit us with a, something a little stronger than that. <sighs> and even even that cameo itself, the Superman cameo, yeah. it's like, look at it. He's right back there. Look at him. He's mm-hmm. looking look, right over your shoulder. We're going to have to replace this we one. We are. Day. I was oh, going to no. say, <laughs> we, should, we should probably give that to somebody <laughs> as some kind of a giveaway. Uh, we'll sign it and we could do some kind of yeah, giveaway. Yeah, yeah. But um, even that cameo, I'm like, when I think about some of these like superhero movie moments mm-hmm. in yeah. these cameos, I still think about Sam Jackson as Nick Fury as like, that's kind of the gold standard yeah, yeah, yeah. because the writing in that, even though it's super short and it's very kind of vague and doesn't, you know, it's still on point. It's mm-hmm. on point for the characters. It's on point for like what they're teasing, but without straight up explicitly stating, yeah. we're going to do this and mm-hmm. you'll be disappointed if we don't. It was so smart and cleverly crafted. And the Superman cameo is very clunky. Even the yeah, dialogue, even yeah. the, you know what I mean. Even with with Viola Davis coming in and being like, I I forget what she said. Like I sent something or other, and yeah. and Superman just being like, we should talk. And yeah. it's this like, it just feels like this. It seems like you guys shoehorned in, looked at a lot yeah. of these kinds of like post credits scenes or mid credit scenes, and then tried to do one without necessarily. I don't know. It's Doing just the work. it's difficult yeah. to do. It's not easy yeah. to do, man. Yeah, you know, yeah. it's not easy to do. I don't know. Once anyway. again, the whole podcast <clears throat> episode. That's right. Really Adam, good what do we got next? next but in the meantime, the next award is for most surprising film. Oh yes, mm, and interesting. The interesting. Goes to <laughs> oh Superman, your before G's in the mail. You know, this really was R R R. 
I need that 3D Blu-ray so bad. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's a good one. It doesn't that's exist one. yet. It does. Know, that one could also win for yet. best dance sequence. Uh-huh. Oh my god! Best, best dance sequence. Best bro mm-hmm. romance. Best, best romance. Like yeah. yeah. Best best um scene that reminded you. Best best yeah. scene that reminded you of the Passion of the Christ. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. I can't. Absolutely. That movie is um bonkers. One hundred percent bonkers. Bonkers. Yeah. It's, if you, it's uh, full out. Yeah. I posted some stuff about it. I think on my Instagram, and a few people were asking me like, oh. This, is this movie actually good? I'm like, you don't understand. Bro, I don't. This movie's an experience. It's, it's it it's more than the simple terms of good or yeah, bad. It's yeah. like it's, it's such a layered thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, some people have been watching. They're like, dude, this movie's incredible. And I'm like, good. <laughs> absolutely good. I'm glad. Good. Uh, but yeah, we did a watch along of that. I know a lot of people have been asking, but it's on it's our on Patreon. Our Patreon. Mm-hmm. So check it out if you want to check, check it out. out. Maybe we'll right, come to YouTube soon. So subscribe to YouTube. The highly coveted. If Ooh. we get to hundred thousand, we'll put on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Best newcomer award goes oh, to. This is a highly coveted. Uh, you come, yeah, a lot of newcomers uh, yeah, this year. Definitely a lot of newcomers. Who do you who do you guys think oh. best newcomer might be? Oh, I know who it is because I put well, these together. I mean, you put this together. <laughs> Adam, any idea? Uh, I mean, I also saw the dog. Okay, well then, <laughs> since you guys know how to read, uh, <laughs> best newcomer of 2022, <laughs> uh, Miss uh, Iman Vellani in Miss Marvel. Yeah, 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 yeah she's yeah, great. Yeah, yeah, gotta give it up. Gotta give for it up someone, to that young for talent. For someone who has literally never acted in anything before to come into a Marvel Studios Mm -hmm. project of that size and scale with a character who has so much importance in the universe. (sighs) Yeah. Lead it. Absolutely just crush Crush. it. Mm -hmm. Crush. And move up to the movie big leagues. That's right. That's right. We're going to see her again in 2023. And it's going to like grow up in the Marvel universe as this character. It's really cool. Such a great performance. Such a great combination of of actor and character. You know, um, yeah, just like, wow. Yeah. yeah. Best yeah. newcomer. So Best great. newcomer. So and great. give it up to uh, uh, runner up Bisha Ali for uh, writing yeah. such a great <laughs> yeah. character. Yeah. For yeah. newcomer. The, the, the actual, yeah. she's in you the second running. MCU. Second running. Yeah. 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 Newcomer yeah. to the MCU. Newcomer to the MCU. And also, yeah. third runner up, Superman. A newcomer yeah. to the Absolutely. DCEU. Absolutely. Superman, newcomer to DCEU. Hopefully, for sure. Hopefully, we'll be seeing more uh, of yeah. him. Yeah. Um, the next Heroes Reforged Award is in the category of Best Honorary Mexican. Ooh, okay. who's that going to be? Okay. We give that Was a lot this year. Yeah, we that's, we say that a lot. So yeah, it could be, that's true. It could be anybody. Anybody. And the yeah. award, the Reforji, goes to Little Leia in Obi Wan. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Now mm-hmm. this is a real yeah. cheat because I think we said it after we saw that her father. Of course, Bail Organa was played by Mr. Jimmy Smith. Right. Absolutely. Well, I think he's Puerto Rican, not Mexican. Yeah, he's not. Yeah. No, he's we not. We still said honorary Mexican. Honorary yeah. Mexican. <laughs> honorary Latino. You just automatically get brought into our house. Why, That's why it. was little Leia given this honorary title? Because she had the spunk. Yep. That attitude. Yeah. The fierceness. Yeah. The bravery. Yeah. The spice. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I mean, so many different reasons. Oh, absolutely. She would 100% survive in a Latino household <laughs> with your uncle. So the meanest thing like your uncles can do is like when a kid messes up mm-hmm. and you know that they want to cry, mm-hmm. your kids, or I'm sorry, your uncles see that you want to cry and they start going, quiere llorar, quiere llorar, quiere llorar, meaning that, oh, she wants to cry, she, she wants, wants to cry. cry. Wow. Dude, little Leia would not give into that pressure. She no, would turn no, around no. and blast you in the face. Also, yeah. that's, that's what little Leia would do. That's trauma. Shout oh, 100%. Out, shout out I'm still working through that trauma. Clearly. <laughs> It's clearly, clearly you are. But the get a yorad is like the worst wow. thing. But she would not take that. She is <laughs> wow. so smart and so uh, uh, courageous in herself yeah. that she wouldn't take that uncle's yeah. abuse. So. Yeah, 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 Wonderful yeah. young actor who mm-hmm. played the role. What a surprise in Obi-Wan yeah. Kenobi. I don't think any of us were expecting no, it. No, not at all. And it was one of the highlights of that show, which was a really fun show. Oh, 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really, yeah. really fun. Yeah, 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 I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm looking forward to- I think to, I'm uh, still waiting for my um, my- Star Wars figure of what's his name, uh, the yellow droid. Oh, you ordered it? Yeah, I yeah. ordered it. I don't oh, think really? it's, I don't think that's not that Hasbro yet. has put that out yet. Yeah, they know. haven't put it out. I know, it. I know, I pre-ordered it. So yeah, yeah. You, you yeah. Got what's that guy's Hasbro? name again? Yeah, that has the Hasbro. What was one. it like Ben or something? No, that can't be right. <sighs> no, B, it's it not B two like emo. B two emo kind of surprised that amazing droid. Yeah, another another But Adam, hit us with our next our next category. Next category is I'm expecting this to not be Superman, but it is favorite returning superhero. Man, I guess it's just burn Superman episode. Uh, Poor Superman. Um, you would, hopefully you hopefully there will be redemption at some there point. There will be. There will be by the end of it. My and favorite, the reforgy favorite. for favorite returning superhero. Yeah. One in Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness and 
She Hulk attorney. It's a tie. Law. It's yeah. a tie, y'all. It's a tie. Two Wongs make Two a Wongs. Wongs. <laughs> This is Two Wongs a, make a green. Make uh, a green. Um, we all love Wong. Oh my yeah. god! And I think oh this God. was his best Bandit year. Wong is ever. awesome. This yeah. is his best year ever as yeah. a character. Yeah. Like he he was. Um, uh, remember that moment in Doctor Strange when I was sitting next to you in the theater and he's delivering this awesome thing of like they'll go to a place that is where the where the where the where the text is in, engraved in the walls. Yeah. And I leaned over to you and I was like Mount Wondergore. And oh, then Wong right. goes Mount Wondergore. <laughs> you were like, yeah. Yeah. he's the best, dude. Yeah, yeah 100%. So him Wong and She-Hulk, is come on. Oh I my mean, god. Uh, also on. shout out to Madison. Yes. You don't know what's going on there. Yeah. But. yeah. So fun. Shout out oh to Wong god. and Wongers and Matt. You should have said Wongers. 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 He's, Wongers. He's, Wong Sorcerer Super Supreme, by the That's way. That's right. Sorcerer Supreme. Is, we, we've been disrespecting yes. him, actually. He is Sorcerer, Sorcerer Supreme. We'll send you Wong. two Reforgies for that. Wong one. Wongerson. Yes. <laughs> Wong Wongerson. Yeah. Wong Wong Nandez. Oh Wong Wong Riguez. <laughs> Wong Wong Riguez. Like, Wong Wong oh Riguez. My God. It, but in, in all seriousness, like we, we talked about how part of the appeal of like superhero yeah. movies and stuff is is to know that they're adapted from characters that we already love in comic books. Yeah. And no disrespect to Wong the character in the comic books, he's fine. But the but the MCU version mm-hmm. is miles oh, beyond. 100%. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they took that really kind of like uh, iffy, Weird, iffy origin character. of mm-hmm. the sort of manservant, Asian manservant trope, stereotypical trope in the era that it came from and elevated it in such a way. And Benedict Wong, like you mentioned, Augustine, like he's such an beloved character mm-hmm. that I hope mm-hmm. that they put him in as many things as they can fit him in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even if it doesn't always make the most sense. I don't yeah. give a shit. Put him in Secret Invasion. Yeah. Put him in Armor Wars. Everything. Put him in Moon Knight he Season 2. He can be in everything at this he point because he just Honestly. comes in and just like I'm is cool. Supreme. Yeah. Listen, oh, okay, it makes sense. Stephen Strange is great, yeah. but if Benedict Cumberbatch plays him in a third Doctor Strange movie and he like heroically sacrifices himself right. at the end, yeah. I'll cry. It'll be great. Yeah, yeah. But as long as Benedict Wong is still around Wong, <laughs> right, to right, keep right. being the Sorcerer Supreme mm-hmm. and everything yep. else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mr. Good. Juan Riguez, your <laughs> Reforgy is in the mail, oh sir. Oh, my God. Sir. All right. So the next category for the Reforgy is favorite new superhero. Mm. So favorite new Whoa. superhero. Uh, burn, any burn. any ideas, you guys? A lot. Damn, there was a yeah, there was a lot. A lot. Cool. It could be okay. Moon Knight. Right. It could be a so tension of... is high for mm-hmm. this one. Okay. I actually don't remember what this is. Ooh, mm. this is a good one. Mm-hmm. Oh, the suspense is killing me. Um, I know who it is. <laughs> you want to hand that over to me, Augustine? Why don't you give it to me, buddy? I'll take that. I'll take that. How about you? I'll take that one and you do this one. Here you go. Give that to me. Nope. Come on. Give me the piece of paper. I've never read this actor's yes, name. I so. have not only read it, but I interviewed them. So I, I, I got it. I've got it. And the Reforgy goes to the character Layla El Fauli, oh. played by May Kalamawi. <laughs> As the Scarlet I'm Scarab such a piece of shit. I'm sorry. In I'm Moon such Knight. a piece of shit. No, here's the thing. Augustine, re- real talk. Real talk. It's better that oh you God. didn't attempt it oh than right. attempted it confidently. Oh, my God. Yeah, no. Con- the way some people do. Oh. Confidently. Listen, he's dead. Listen, and screwed he's it up. Dead. I ain't white, so I know that mispronouncing names are oh my God. bad. Right. But oh, my God. That ain't, I ain't I'm white, sweating. and that ain't right. I'm oh sweating, too. I feel bad, Once and I again, apologize. You were looking at it, and I was like, is he that shocked? Or <laughs> <laughs> he's like, it's moonlight. I don't know what I'm to do. Like, it's uh, <laughs> the winner is moonlight. Uh, uh, moon. Uh, 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 I'm like, he's guys, like, help me. Like, is this oh, La La Land? Is, oh is, is this La La Land or Moonlight? I was like, I was like is this English? La La is this Land? English? What's going on? Moonlight? It does say La La Layla and Moon Knight. Oh. Yeah. Moonlight? Oh, wow. oh my God. We'll, we'll hold it up right there. Oh my God. Sweating. Oh, my God. oh Jesus so, Christ. Oh guys, just God. cut it off. Cut it oh off. Oh my God. This is where we so end. fucking funny. End the show. Oh my God. So once again. You were literally like, yeah. I was like, is he waiting for it to materialize? He's loading, like, loading, loading. <laughs> I was, I was like trying to read it in my head. I was oh like, no, God. that doesn't sound right. No, that doesn't have that right. No, that doesn't mm-hmm. sound right. Mm-hmm. So I'm once sorry. Again, I'm the sorry. Winner is, oh the winner is oh my God. the character, the superhero, the new 
favorite superhero. Yeah. And this is a character who was not planned to be a superhero until right. they started making the show. Oh. Right. And by the end of the show, they're I, like, I just let's... see your lips moving. I can't hear anything. <laughs> they oh said, let's, let's actually make her the first Marvel Egyptian yeah. superhero. That was such a cool... Yeah, yeah that was a great moment. You know, the, the moment with... And the wings came yeah. out. Dude, oh, shit. So that was awesome. Her superhero name, and I think this is what at least is in the comics. I don't know if it's been confirmed in, yeah. in the show and what it will be going forward, but the Scarlet Scarab... Right from the show Moon Knight, the character was Layla El Faouli, played by actress May Kalamawi. And if I mispronounce any of that, please let us know. But <laughs> May, May Kalamawi did. Such she a was sort of. I, I sort of got that, that it that said calamari, and I was like, I'm not going to say calamari. <laughs> that can't be right. That's I'm not going to say that. But oh here is your God. redemption, Augustine. I know for a fact. <sighs> I hope this is in English. You can do this next. All right, week. guys. I know for a fact. A round of applause, though, to yeah, May Calamari. To May Calamari. I'm crying. No, <laughs> Calamari. I'm Damn. sorry. No, that was Calamari. that was not a good joke. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> so the next reform. Gee, yeah, I'm never gonna live that one down. No, the ne the next reforgy uh, category is favorite animated superhero. Oh man, Adam, do you know favorite animated? Yeah, superhero? do you have an idea? It's probably gonna be Mark Grayson. Ooh. Mark Grayson from Invis. Oh, but that wasn't this year. That was last year. That was last oh, year. Oh, that was last year. That oh was a good God. choice though. Invincible. I would have chosen him. Sorry, I would have chosen, chosen him, but this is out of my hands. You would have chosen, chosen him. by the gods. Yeah. Uh, this is Wolverine and X Men the oh. animated series, dude. Yeah, that gutter, Which, gutter trash, gutter trash is from the year like 1995. Yeah. Right, but, but, but we watched, watched it this year. year. <laughs> so yes, Psychos, our favorite a convertible. Yeah, favorite animated. <laughs> uh, it's 100. percent Do okay. So quick question: yeah. Was Wolverine Mark as Grayson, cool? What an idiot, <laughs> <laughs> dude! I couldn't read English, so <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> the years blend together, <laughs> yeah. folks. Um, so what I would so I jumped into X Men in the nineties yeah. because that's when I yeah. developed my brain. Like most people, like did. most pe most people did. But I want to know if Wolverine was this cool before that. Mm. Like, was he like this fast talk? Not fast talking, but like quip saying, like really kind of like get to the point kind of you know, guy. I want to say the show. Here's what I want to say. I haven't read all of the X-Men comics from Either the 70s and 80s, right? Wolverine debuts in Marvel Comics in mm -hmm. the 70s in a Hulk comic book, and then eventually the the creator of the character Wolverine is Chris Claremont, mm -hmm. co-creator. Right. Actually, no, I think it was Len it Wein. Len Wein? Len Wein <clears throat> and Chris Claremont? Dave Cockrum. I think it was Len Wein and Dave Cockrum. Anyway, at some point, the Canadian superhero character gets pivoted to X-Men because now it's an international team. They're like, we got a Russian mm -hmm. guy. We got a character from uh, from Egypt or, or um, Kenya, I think, was was a Storm. I think mm -hmm. she came from Kenya. And um, a Japanese character and a, and a Native American character and a Canadian character. And when he got pivoted there, um, I want to say that in the 70s and into the 80s and even in the early 90s especially, he was that character. But the thing is, is that is there a decade you can think of that better suits that funny, like badass, no, almost anti-hero right. kind of like right. extreme? Like the '90s was made for Wolverine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it makes perfect sense that he, along with things like Power Rangers, yeah. and like, you know, mm -hmm. that just hit their zenith of popularity. Yeah. You know, he Wolverine almost has a backwards baseball cap on. He's so cool. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> almost has his hair parted down the middle, but instead of it going down, it goes up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. Right. So, yeah. so I think, you know, I think you're right, Augustine, when you're saying like he was never cooler than in the 90s and yeah, in right. that cartoon in that show. Cartoon, yeah. But I think the, the <clears throat> actual, you know, the blueprints for him, the structure was there in the comics from the beginning, but mm, then you right. get to the 90s and it's like you pair him with Jubilee. Yeah. You pair him with Cyclops. You, Against Cyclops. You put him in that 90s, yeah. you mm -hmm. know, that a very neon cool looking yeah. show and i have to imagine that the the voice actor who voices wolverine mm -hmm. was a huge part of yeah probably kind of probably. giving the same way kevin conroy gave a voice to batman mm -hmm. in a new unique mm -hmm. way i feel like was the same case was also a similar case with wolverine because mm -hmm. once the character once you see them moving and they have a, like a presence and a voice and an attitude mm -hmm. It's really hard to break away when you read the comic book yeah. to like not read it to as not that character, that. Yeah, as absolutely. that version. Absolutely. Yep. Yeah. Adam, why don't you hit us with our next category? Sure. Our next Reforgy Orgy is for favorite returning villain. Favorite returning mm. villain. Mm. Returning and villain. And then we have the Reforgy goes to mm. the Empire and Andor. <laughs> 
<laughs> is it our favorite or is it not our favorite? Those or is it the sons worst? of bitches. It's, it's, a, it's, it's our favorite returning it's so bad. villain. Yeah. Because it's so bad. The, the Empire so nasty. in yeah. that show. They're so nasty. Is, is they're worse than the Empire's ever been in any Star yes. Wars thing. Yes. Yes. Holy Tony shit. Tony Gilroy and like the entire writing team and then just the directors and the story creators, they really did take an organization that has always been evil, always will be evil, mm -hmm. but made it just it felt so personal. <laughs> like, yeah, I man. mean, yeah. You like you yeah. you watch them. You're just like, oh, yeah. They, you are because in the original Star Wars movies, I feel like, yeah, they're just this like you mm -hmm. know this fantasy evil villain. Right. But in, but Andor, I think more so than even the prequels, the sequel yeah. trilogy with the First Order. Yep. Some of the other shows, I'm really with Andor. I'm really like these are oh, they're, real they're, sons of they're, bitches. They're fascists. Yeah. Full on fascists. Hundred yeah. percent. Yeah. They are. They're trying to genocide people. Yeah. And they are just the prisons. Trying to, they, they are. How they, they just repurpose people yeah. back into the yep. oof, recirculate right? them. Yeah. Horrible. Man, it's yeah. they're horrible. Real pieces of shit. Our next award. Our next award is our new this. favorite villain. New favorite villain. New. So uh drum roll please. Brrr. Who's our new favorite villain? You guys? I feel like the Griswolds. Brrr. The Forgy first two. New favorite villain goes to El Nino Sin Amor in Black Ooh. Panther Wakanda Forever. That was, okay. that was in Spanish and you read it. Nice <laughs> <to be done. laughs> I mean, Look. That's the advantage. <laughs> look, this guy. Oh my god. I'm pretty sure he's my great great grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> I oh want him God. to be. I think Namor I impregnated think he's, my great great grandma. <laughs> everybody's papi. Damn. Uh, he's taking the internet by storm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So this guy has kind of redefined what people are thinking of villains in the MCU at this point because I mean, Loki did a good job. Yeah. Loki yeah. did a good job and of being that guy. Killmonger was just like the yeah. the, the bar, and yeah. I think Killmonger I don't know, was the bar. Yeah. I don't. I don't want to say Namor like exceeded that bar, mm -hmm. but Ryan Coogler brought Namor into the conversation at that same level. Oh, level he was yeah. like, I, would, I'm I gonna, think above that He's level. like, I'm going to, he goes, I'm going to approach Namor yeah. the way I approached Killmonger, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And not just hire a great actor to portray him, but yeah. like, yeah, you watch those movies and you go, dude, I get it. Maybe they're going a little too far, but, but even in the case of Wakanda Forever, I'm like... Okay, he did kill Queen Ramonda. Okay, he did, but... <laughs> he, yeah. That's un inexcusable, but... He was like, if you do this, I will come for you. And guess Look, what? They did it. Wakanda the, did the, it. The theme oh. for Wakanda Forever was <laughs> that, that Namor said was, fuck around and find, <laughs> find out. out. Fuck around yeah. and find yeah. out. Yeah, exactly. It's like, y'all yeah. want to fuck around? Y'all yeah. go find out. Yeah. And that, then, that was his theme. But then Shuri, at the end of it, whomped his ass. And oh, she yeah. got her butt kicked, too. Oh, yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah. Whomped his ass and was like, I can kill you, mm -hmm. but... Martha. And but he goes, wrong. why did you say that name? <laughs> She's like, Martha. And he's like, Martha was my mother's name. <laughs> Martha. It's Martha. 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 Yeah. <laughs> and then they teamed up, you know, yeah. and um, God, man, it's just, but just such a great new villain. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so good. And, uh, you know, shout out again to Tenoch Huerta, who's like, yeah. Came, seemingly came out of nowhere, but he's been working. And he's been working for forever. For a long time, you know, yeah, shout yeah, out to but, him for being our version of Ryan Coogler. Yeah, because he's standing up for against yes. racism, standing yeah. up for people of color, against marginalized colorism. Yeah, against colorism in Absolutely. Mexico, which is rampant. So yeah, Man. there's still a long way to go. But thank you so much for <sighs> yeah. being that Can't, for us. Cannot wait to see <clears> him more again. Not yeah. related to to our awards, but yeah. I thought it was funny that Chuck Woody Uji got the biggest breakout star of 2022, and he's oh, like yeah. 20 years in the business. Oh, I'm yeah. a breakout star. No, okay. From Peacemaker, yeah, from yeah, Peacemaker, yeah. yeah. Guardians, Interesting. Guardians Three, yeah. Interesting. I'm Guardians like, Three. Oh man, yeah. break out to me, break out in yeah. my heart. But he, but he heart. deserves yeah. it because he was and awesome. Sure. Just to go back to Namor for a second, I still remember that night after we saw the screening. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That later that night you just texted me El Niño Sin Amor because you were like so jazzed about that, was, that, that line, so dude. Good. That shit was so when good. He's, the, and the way he delivers that, <laughs> mm -hmm. and how he laughs, he's like El Niño Sin Amor. Like he's yeah. just like I killed it's that guy. Such a good delivery. <laughs> yeah, I killed him. It's such a he's good like delivery. I took that shit and yeah. I made it my own. Yeah. So yeah, it was yeah. awesome. Mm -hmm. The next Heroes Reforged Award goes to best use of previously established character and the Reforgy for best use of previously established character goes to Yaddle in Tales of the Jedi. Oh Dang. my God. Yaddle oh my Christ God. Dallas Howard Yaddle voicing Yaddle, Yaddle. Mm -hmm. was so mm -hmm. good. It was heartbreaking. It God was. Damn. It was 100% heartbreaking. God damn. In one little short yeah. episode, yeah. <clears throat> we were all like, Yaddle, we love her. <laughs> we yeah. love Yaddle. We, we, we saw Yaddle in the trailer, and like I, we, I think we all got excited. Mm -hmm. But you, we didn't had no idea how big that role was going to be. But no. then to get what we got, no. I'm like, 
This is yeah, I want more Yaddle shorts, but the mm. one that I talked about where Yaddle and Yoda have this <laughs> rom-com adventure, <laughs> huge romance scene. The center of that movie is going to be yeah. a romance love scene between Yaddle and Yoda. Maybe like- Where they make Grogu. What is it? Like 15, 20 years before Phantom yeah. Menace is, yeah. when, is when Grogu would have to have been born? Yeah, exactly. Dude, exactly. Honestly, yeah. I don't we know. Need, we need that rom-com. Maybe. We need that, that little, little Will Smith style. Who puts <laughs> them together? Who brings them together? That's a great question. Who brings them maybe, together? It's I don't know. Maybe somebody in like the High Republic? No, yeah. that might be too early. That's yeah, a great, maybe, it's, early. Maybe, it's, maybe, it's, maybe it's a young- uh, no, Mace he might Windu. be too. No. Ma- uh, uh, um, Kari Mundi. Liam Neeson. Uh, oh, Qui-Gon Jinn. Qui-Gon? Yeah, Qui-Gon. There you go. <clears throat> Qui-Gon's like, bro, you've been on, what's the Star Wars version of a dating app? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. You've been on uh, Star Destroyer. <laughs> I don't know. Star Destroyer, <laughs> yeah. Swipe Right. Yeah. I, you've been on the like, dating app. Holocron. Know, bro. What is, yeah, that, what is that night of lovemaking like? Is that <laughs> That's Yaddle what I want to see. And Yoda. That's and Yoda's just like, uh, <laughs> and then she's like, "Oh, Yoda, you talk so funny. I Yoda. talk normal. Yeah, funny, I talk. Like, yeah, but why do you talk? I do. She's like, but you're cute. I Wasn't love there it. a movie where somebody goes, "I like how you talk," or something like <laughs> maybe. that? Maybe I think it's there like was a movie. Kung Pao, maybe? Yeah, something like that. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, but anyways, sex jokes aside, look for real though. <laughs> Yaddle is. What a great use of a background character. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, my and God. to answer the question, how come Yaddle wasn't in anything else past Phantom Menace? And not just that, but what it added to the Count Dooku mm. character. Oh, my God. Like, Count Dooku. straight up, to mm. Dave Filoni and the team. Yeah. The did tell yeah. the Jedi. Dave so Filoni, you will, yours, yours you was, was also coming in the mail. Yes, yeah. yours was also. Yeah. Bryce Dallas Howard. Yeah. The animators the who animators. worked on Yaddle. Every animator, yeah. yeah Every yeah. animator who worked on Yaddle. Mm-hmm. Corey Burton, who did the voice of Dooku. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yep, yep. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Anyway. All right. The next award... Our Heroes Reforged Award for best use of previously not established character. Weird a category, but okay. It's a good category. The Reforgy goes to Ugly Sonic and Chippendale <laughs> Rescue oh, Rangers. Ugly Sonic. But wait a minute, that's not on YouTube, it's on Patreon. We watched <laughs> That's right, baby. Chippendale Rescue that's Rangers. Right. That's right. And that was a good Sonic award. Was that hilarious. was a very good so award. Funny. I don't funny. think enough people have seen that movie. No. I don't think they have. It's a weird movie. movie. It, it is was. a very weird movie. <laughs> when we watched the trailer, I was like, this trailer is amazing. Yeah. And then we watched the movie, I was like, wow, it actually like Lives up mostly to yeah. what the trailer oh, to the premise. Yeah, 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 yeah. one hundred percent. So yeah. go watch that movie if you. Yep. So funny. So <laughs> next award, Augustine. Next award, next Reforgy category is best death. Best death. Uh, oh. You know, death is a tough, tough subject. Wait, so did a lot of yeah. There were there were quite a few deaths. Right? Oh yeah. yeah. I mean, everybody died. Yeah. 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 Everyone everybody died. died. Yeah. Everyone Bunch everywhere. All, all right. Ones. So best best death goes to ooh Adam's category. Michael Myers in Halloween. Ends. Spoiler alert, Michael Man. Myers dies. Yeah. Yeah. Spoiler alert. He doesn't die. That motherfucker gets crushed oh, to death. Yeah. He gets car chopped <laughs> to death. Yeah. I remember we were watching, you were like, oh, they're showing it. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. he goes through one of those weird grinder things yeah. with the teeth that like go like this. Yeah. yeah. And uh, look, yeah. the fact that they even filmed a death and called it the death yeah. is brave for yeah, a agree. franchise yeah. that yeah. features yeah. that character. So, so Abby was helping me put these together. My girlfriend was helping me put these together and she hasn't seen Halloween ends. Oh no. So she saw this and I was like, yeah, best death, Michael Myers. Sorry, spoiler. He dies in Halloween yeah. ends. And she's like, I don't believe that he died. And I'm like, <laughs> Abby, Abby. They showed, and she was like, yeah. he finds ways to come back. I'm like, no, <laughs> he's dead. <laughs> the only way he's coming back is on a plate of spaghetti. That's it. That's the only way guys, he's coming back. Do you guys remember that meme I sent you not so long ago? Of, of, uh, of Halloween uh, kills where the guy goes, Santa oh, flies yeah, tonight. <laughs> Santa flies tonight. It's Christmas. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, that was a good one. I mean, as a Halloween fan, I was very surprised to have to see Michael Myers die because yeah. as far as I had known, just from what I've heard from interviews, yeah. that they, they weren't allowed to kill Michael Myers. Mm-hmm. So yep. I was like, are they mm-hmm. actually going to do it or not? I and mean, they did. Cheers, yeah. Michael Myers. Cheers, Michael uh, Myers. You were great while you lasted. Your reforgies in the mail. You had a good 44-year yeah. run. Uh-huh. You son of a bitch. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Look great for your age. My God. Mm-hmm. Was he, how old was he canonically when he died? 65, like six, I five think. Five. Looked fantastic. Jesus. Uh, the next Heroes Reforged Award is for Best Use of Monster. Mm, good category. And the Reforged Make my monster goes to grow. Werewolf by Night. Oh, oh yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Good Bernal. choice. So, Very good um, choice. Great surprise. So we're talking about the werewolf from Werewolf by Night. Not necessarily. Are we talking about that, monsters in general? That project okay. 
that that short, that special yeah. presentation, that mm-hmm. movie, whatever you want to call it, in my opinion, in our monster. opinion, <laughs> the best use of monster. Yeah. Because we had mm-hmm. Jack, Jack, mm-hmm. Werewolf by Night, played by Gael Garcia Bernal. Mm-hmm. We had Man Thing. Man thing. Yes. So and just the way that that story used mm-hmm. monsters yeah. in its narrative. The concept of monster. Yeah. Michael yeah. Giacchino. Shout out to Michael Giacchino. Michael Giacchino. You're, you're getting, getting two, two tonight, baby. You're getting two tonight. <laughs> Giacchino. You know what's up. But we're not done yet. We're not done yet. We've got a lot of best <clears throat> use stuff coming up. Uh, uh, Adam, what's the next category? Our next category is best use of... Mm. Best use of Wookiee. Ooh. And the Reforgy goes to... There's only one possible... I mean... The book of Boba Fett, Black... Chrysanthemum. That's right. El Santo. <laughs> El Santo. <laughs> the best. The best. So good. Really good use that, of that, that, that guy. That was a big surprise yeah, to me because I, I was not expecting that at all. No. And, you know, I know there's a character that has shown up in books and I've like sure. read a couple of them. Comics, but yeah. But to see Chrysanthemum show up and like awesome. kick the shit out With of people. The spikies and oh, the black man. hair. Man. Yeah. So good. Yeah. I, got, cool I got that uh, Star Wars Black Series action figure. But it's, based, it. on, you? it's nice. based on his appearance in the comic. And I hope oh, they okay. do another one based on the book the of show. Boba Fett. Because yeah. yeah. he could be a little beefier. But yeah, um, yeah. really, really fun character. So Listen, good. that show is almost like the opposite of Andor. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, totally. But it's also super fun. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Book of Boba Fett was really, really fun. Yeah. yeah. Have we gotten a season two greenlit yet? Not yet. I don't think so. Okay. Don't think so, well, yeah. hopefully we get. Sa- I mean, yeah. well, at least know. Santo coming back in yeah. some yeah. way, Maybe shape, or form. Yeah. Or something. Three. Yeah. I well, feel like yeah. I feel like that show is a great yeah. balance when you have like the yeah. more serious Star Wars stuff. Yeah. Has something that's like this yeah. is just kind of an escapism mm-hmm. series. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So the next category, my favorite, best use of butt. Ooh. Best Ooh. use of butt in a series. Ooh. This we, is the important stuff, I y'all. I we nominated you for this category. This is what you tune in for, y'all. In a series or movie. Who is cheeked up the most? <laughs> mm, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, so cake. the use of best butt. That's what we should call best use of cake. Best use, use of cake. Of thick cakes goes to Thor in Thor Love and Thunder. Oh, yeah. Homeboy. Yeah. yeah. Bared the cheeks. Yeah. Thank you, Hemsworth. Everybody was looking for it. That Made was every a, that god was a double layered cake. pause and look twice. Delicious. Delicious yeah. cakes. Delicious. <laughs> delicious. Taste delicious taste delicious cake. cakes. Well, delicious cake. I, I, that was a great moment. I mean, in all seriousness, it was so fun to see Hemsworth in that movie. Mm-hmm. He had a blast. It was really fun. It was an emotional moment, sure, but mostly it's like a comedy. Mm-hmm. And Hemsworth as Thor is so funny. Mm-hmm. And for him to want to be willing to do that for, oh, yeah. uh, for the bit. Oh, yeah. To flash to, the cakes. Yeah, to, for to sure. flash the cakes, to have that Loki back tap. Yeah. You yeah. know, to have Natalie Portman and Tessa Thompson and Korg yeah. <laughs> react to that. Yeah. Russell Crowe. That whole sequence is hilarious, too. <laughs> it's it's a good sequence. It's a good movie. It's a good sequence. I just, yeah, I think. Um, it's not the best MCU movie, but you know no, what? No, no. And not I don't at think all. it tops Ragnarok. No, not at all. It's a good time. Yeah. And um, wait, what's the next category? The next cat. Yeah, I should probably read it. <laughs> <laughs> the next award <clears throat> in the Heroes Reforged Awards mm-hmm, is mm-hmm. Best Use of of penis. Mm. Ooh, the pee-pees. We are we are equal opportunity here. We had the butts. That's right. Yeah. We gotta have the pee-pee. We gotta have the pee-pees. And the Reforgy goes to the boys. The boys. Oh, and, and, no, ain't no penis. question about that. Ain't no ain't question no about question. that. <laughs> ain't no question about that. The boys. I mean, we uh, can't even talk about that more because that's spoiler territory. So yes, multiple use of penis. You I should for yeah. I there were, we posted the, the reaction to the last episode of season three, and people were like <laughs> I'm so glad you guys are caught up. I'm so sad that you're also caught up because yeah. now uh, I can't watch it with you true. anymore. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, well, but season four will be coming soon. Season four will be coming oh, soon. Oh my goodness! All, All right, right. Um, what's goodness. the next category? Buddy? Our next category is most surprising animated moment. Whoa! We, and we, we watched a good amount of animated stuff this we year. Did. We did. We did. This we did. could be anything. And the Reforgy goes to. <clears throat> The Andy Sandberg written episode of The Boys Presents Diabolical John and Son He. Written by Andy Sandberg. That was a big surprise. That, Emotional. Because yeah. I. <laughs> and, it's, and it's nothing against Andy Sandberg because I think he's no. incredibly talented. Yeah. But when, I, when someone says Andy Sandberg, I immediately think funny humor comedy hot rod you know yeah hot rod 99 yeah i think of uh what's the movie that he just had that was on hulu came Ch- chippendale rescue rangers uh, well that too Isn't that- um what, what was what it hulu? palm springs i think it was called mm-hmm. oh yeah that's a great film yeah, that's a great movie i really liked it. you know yeah. so that's yeah. the first thing i think of but then we get this like emotional short film crazy that's part of the boys universe did not like, expect oh it in God, this series and it, and it had a few 
comedic moments for oh, sure. Oh, totally, totally, yeah. totally. But, like, but the emotion of, hit. Of, everything in, in, in The Boys uh, presents Diabolical, mm -hmm. that was the the biggest surprise. And yeah. I was like, that. I felt like that was the most welcome. Like, yeah. Oh, oh here you 100%. Have, you have a yeah. writer trying to go out of their comfort zone. Yes, right, totally. The thing they're known for. Maybe not even comfort zone yeah. because I think a lot of, so I just listen to a lot of podcasts. A lot of comedians go up on stage and try to process their trauma yes. by yeah. being Comedy, funny because that's yeah. really the only way they knew how to process their trauma. Mm -hmm. But like, there's a lot of emotion. Like, we're human beings. We have a lot yeah. of emotions. Mm -hmm. And I think it's re it really sucks that people discount comedians as just like, oh, be funny. Yep. Just right, go be funny. Right, like, right. they don't yeah. have any yeah, other emotions. Will Ferrell went right. and did Stranger Than Fiction and yeah. it's probably one of my favorite movies of his. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. That was a pretty good one. I agree. Yeah. Dude, I mean, you want to talk about that? You got to talk about... Fuck, Jim Carrey, Truman mm -hmm. Show. Yeah. Everybody. Adam Adam Sandler, Sandler like, has done it. Punch Drunk Love. Yeah. And, I think know. Gems, comedians yeah. and animation yes. are the untapped, like, <laughs> role in Hollywood right now. Totally. Like, yeah. animation. Yeah. I just tweeted something out, out today. There's a guy who was just animating effects over, like, a guy practicing with his katana, like a katana blade inside of, like, a studio, cool. right? Cool. But he made him look like such a badass, just, like samurai warrior just by adding like effects yeah. and animation yeah. to the things he was doing just normally love yeah. that. and it looks incredible so i love that uh animation your uh your reforges yes. in the mail <laughs> uh it will be there but speaking of animation the next category is coolest animated series oh. i mean we kind of know where this one's going because there's yeah. nothing a lot cooler but than if you're not on patreon you're only on youtube yeah you might i mean not if know. you're not on patreon then you don't know <laughs> but the coolest animated series of the year hands down are Arcane, Arcane yeah. beats a lot of the stuff we've watched this year. Yeah, so. Arcane was amazing. Yeah, yeah. Amazing. I mean, and I will say, I think Arcane was the show that kind of changed how we watch shows. Mm. Because previously we were watching like one to two, yes. one episode a week. Yeah. Mm. yeah. And Arcane, someone in our Patreon suggested, hey, you should really watch three episodes a night over the span of three nights. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And once we did that, we're like, maybe we should watch all the shows Why don't like we just this. do it that way? And it's really changed the yeah. way like we watch everything. The Boys, Superman, yeah. Lois, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. But man, that show was such a, oh my God, such a delight and a huge surprise. Beautifully animated. The mm -hmm. storytelling is beautiful. Mm -hmm. And watching it in those chunks and experiencing the story like as time passes, it was so good. Yeah. It was yeah. So I good. Agree. I agree. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. Yeah, you go definitely, should. It. Yeah. definitely should. Definitely uh, should. Hector, what's next, buddy? I'm trying to do the math here. Uh, no, yeah, I think this is right. Okay. okay. Next up, in the category of most travieso. Travieso, oh. okay. The Reforge. Lots most of, travieso. Lots of okay. Yes, yeah, so the Reforge goes to Groot, and I am Groot. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah that yeah. little sticker. Yeah. That little travieso. Especially that in that last God. episode where he accidentally crushes those uh, those little <laughs> God, aliens. He just kills all yeah, yeah, aliens. Yeah, yeah. That was a cute show. Travieso it was good. It was good. It was good. To go to shorts. jail. It's another Tra one of those Travieso examples of people being like, ah, oh, I am Groot is not as good because it's not, you know, part of the. It didn't add a Part major. Of the canon, yeah. it's animated. It didn't and give like, me a spoil. On. Like it didn't give me a major reveal. It didn't yeah. Introduce an Get incredibly important Marvel character. Yeah. yeah. When I see what if and and I am great at the bottom of people's lists, I'm oh like, oh my god, on, the disrespect. Man. Come yeah. on. What's I don't even want to talk to those people anymore who put yeah. those no, shows down at the bottom. No, yeah. No. Mm -hmm. Anyways, next award, next Heroes Reforged Award for best use of real location, <laughs> and the Reforge goes to. Hollywood in the Guardians of the Galaxy holiday special. Nice, nice, nice. That's a which, good, which is a good one. Yeah. Yeah. Which is a good one. Which is a good <laughs> go one. Bo go it's bots get just, beat up. Just watching them try to <laughs> yeah. go through like the Chinese theater and the stars yeah. and stuff yeah. and yeah. people coming up and taking pictures with them and Hollywood so is silly. the worst place on earth. Yeah. So please oh, don't come and visit. It's rough. <laughs> it's rough. <laughs> Not good. Yeah. Uh, but it was a good use in the show. <laughs> Sorry. Jesus. Sorry. Am I going to have to leave no. here? God. That was funny. All right. That so funny. next category on the Heroes Reforge Reforgy Orgy is best rewatch. Uh, we rewatched oh, a, we re a lot of stuff, you guys. Yeah. We actually rewatched more stuff than we normal watch. So yep, 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 yep. what is maybe the winner? Maybe. Maybe. I yeah. think so. I yeah. like rewatching stuff that it was already yeah. out. Yeah. Best rewatch is the Lord of the Rings trilogy. Oh. I'm keeping this one and putting it on my mantle. <clears throat> that was uh, really fun. Because that was fun. Those that movies was, are pretty good. They're all right. Yeah, I heard. Okay, I heard okay. they got some awards. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty yeah. good. Movies. They yeah. might have. They might have changed the industry a little bit. A little maybe. bit. Maybe <laughs> a little bit. But maybe. Tolkien, your reforgies in the mail, buddy, and we'll send it to your grave. Thank you, man. Tolkien, you might get another reforger here in a second because uh -oh. the next category 
is in the category of best bromance. Now we've already had RRR mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. win most surprising film mm -hmm. yeah. to try and maybe encompass that whole thing. Yeah. But <laughs> specifically in the category of best bromance, the Heroes Reforged Award goes to Elrond and Durin in oh The Lord of the God. Rings, The Rings of Power. Give it to me straight and give it give to, to me, me raw. Give it to me <laughs> so <laughs> funny. So funny. <sighs> and then he jacks, uh, what's his name? Throndir's, Thron, Throndir? I think it's Throndir. Throndir's table. He's yeah, like, yeah, my wife yeah, just wanted a yeah. new table, so jack yeah. yours, buddy. <laughs> what does he say? What does he say? Who's, who's what? What does he uh, say? Oh. Something uh, where he says, whose table or like whose mountain did you get and, this table from? Or yeah. Something. He yeah. says, uh, yeah. whose throne or whatever. And goes, yeah. <laughs> oh my Such God. Such a great, good so performances. Yeah. Yes. Funny. Great characters. Yeah. I thought that show was so fun. I want to so go back and rewatch it. Yeah. It, it, I'm going to have to. I really to, enjoyed yeah. it. In, in my opinion, it did for me the same thing that, that mostly that the Lord of the Rings <clears throat> movies do, yeah. which when you watch Lord of the Rings movies, Peter Jackson's movies, you, you, you get into this mode where it's kind of like, I don't know. It feels whose like whose hands. Like, That's what he said. Oh yeah. Oh. Whose hands. Whose hands. <laughs> you get into this mode where it's almost like, maybe not like a fine wine, but maybe like yeah. a brandy. Yeah. Like it was just a kind of right, like right. comfort watching. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of like smooth and slow mm -hmm. and epic. Mm -hmm. And it's going to get you there. And it's amazing. But there's yeah. these, you know, these great little moments with these characters and the rings of power show did that for me. We yeah. got into yeah. the mode and I'm like, this feels like it could fit in that Peter, but yeah. it made me feel like, Oh, I'm sipping on like a good smooth brand. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> you, like know a very, like, you don't want to oh. rush this drink. You yeah. want to just I'm sip like, it all the way through. There's it's like a, a nice fire going yeah. and it's maybe snowing outside. And I'm like, yeah, yeah this is, the, this oh is the show. God. Yeah, no, I really agree fun. with you, Hector. Yeah. Yeah. That, yeah. Looking back on it, that's what it kind of feels like. Looking forward to season two. Yeah, but for sure. I definitely want to rewatch season one. Yeah. And I, and I yeah. feel like that the the show came out while we were in the middle of watching I think like four different things. It was yeah. a lot. It was yeah. that, it was Obi Wan, She Hulk, or, or whatever. Mm -hmm. And and I think it wasn't until after we finished all that stuff that I was like, you know, Rings of Power, yeah. very satisfying, very good, Sat very yeah. satisfying, yeah. very yeah. satisfying. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Adam, this is uh, oh. <laughs> almost the last. Almost the last I thought awards. it said something else. What did you think mm -hmm. it said? I thought said? it said the best use of D. The best use of D. The boys. I was Once like, we're going to give that away. <laughs> I mean, we? that, that show was already there. So. Uh, not just 1D. Yeah. Not 2D. 3D, Tres baby. Des. Tres yeah. des. Best Tres use des. of 3D. Adam. Best use of 3D. The Refor G goes to, and this should not be a surprise to anybody. Yeah. Avatar, the way of what? Oh, what the heck? That's some good D's in that movie. That was some good D's. The best 3D film probably ever made. Um, yeah, it man. was... Way of Water was yeah. incredible. Movie, The movie aside, mm. the 3D was amazing. Yeah. But with yeah. the movie and the experience of the movie, um, it's a very, very, very enjoyable watch. Yes. I yeah. loved it. I really did. It's, I mean, it's a, it's a bar that I think is a little impossible. Yeah. Because I mean, in 14 days, it made a billion dollars. So not it's just, on I mean, its way. Not just that, but the use of 3D. I mean, I can oh, praise- Oh, yeah, the storytelling, like, yeah. I'm still a huge fan of 3D conversion. Mm -hmm. And Avatar has the unfair advantage of like, it says that it's shot in 3D, which right. it is. James Cameron is shooting his live action actors, whatever yeah. there's live action stuff with 3D cameras. Yeah. And that stuff looks great, but it's the, it's the fully CG- environment yeah mm -hmm. yeah when they're rendered out and the, the focus yeah. is put onto what's going to be where in space it's so beautiful and mm -hmm, so good mm -hmm. that even the movies that i love that are 3d converted i had a blast with like dr strange in the multiverse of madness 3d this year very that well was done really very fun well done. Yeah. it's never going to be able to get to that kind of clean yeah. pure you know 3d experience yeah and it set the bar for so many so many things but yeah the, the 3d of it was so immersive and so just the so scenes good. where she, they're underwater and they're like looking at oh fish and shit. oh yeah and you're seeing like incredible. particles just floating right in front of you i Ugh. think my favorite thing about the 3d was finally having a correctly built face like having mm. like being being like those close-ups of all the navi yeah. and yeah. seeing yeah. like how their bone structure is and it's like it's accurate to the model because it's yeah. rendered in 3d yeah i I think having that uh, and having that kind of be the staple for cinema from now on for anybody who's going to be doing 3D stuff. Yeah. Because you can't, I mean, you can go back and do shitty 3D. Like yeah. some some people might. Yeah. But um, I think the bar has been elevated for 3D and hopefully it kind of permeates out into the world, into more things. And yeah. It comes back as like it was back we'll in 2010. See. We'll, we'll see. see. We'll see. All right. In all seriousness, these last three awards 
are the most important awards. That's right. These are the are. golden yeah, reforgies. Yeah. Nothing matters. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nothing matters until this moment. Golden reforgies. Yeah. And um, yeah. these are the most important ones. I hope and, in five years we get to do this show live somewhere. <laughs> yeah, right. It's weird to just be in a room. <laughs> it's not. That's how they do the Oscars. You know what? It's you fine. say that, but when we do it live, people will boo us. They'll be like, you're not funny. Shut up. Boo. Why am I here? Why are you here, sir? That's a good question. Why, why did you come? Yeah, why did you pay money to see us? That's you right. said there'd be free beer. <laughs> yeah, well, you know. Well, you know. Oh, damn. All Sorry. right, Hector. You hit us with yours. No, you hit us with yours. We'll, okay, we'll go there. So we'll, we'll go, go there. My, yeah. my Adam All right. just did one. So, we'll so these sh- categories are very special to us because they are our favorite moments uh, in Heroes reforged history <laughs> of 2022 of 2022, 2022. Yeah. <laughs> of history of 2022 mm-hmm. so this category is augustine's favorite moment of 2022 oh. and what did we choose i don't even know what i chose oh my god <laughs> <laughs> augustine's favorite moment what of 2022 this should come as no surprise <laughs> to anybody because i've laughed more harder at this moment and this time yeah. uh, than I've, I, than anything that we've done, I think, so far. Yeah. Uh, it's Madison in She-Hulk, Madison's deposition, where she tells us how she spells her name. At first, and she, it was scary. At first, and it was scary. Spooky. And then spooky. And, but in a fun way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like that whole scene. Oh, my God. The actress, gosh. Patty Guggenheim, just yeah. the, the, I, I, I don't, so I wish funny. we had more of her in the show. I know. Just, I wish she was I in more I really episodes. thought that she was yeah. going to end up and being they, in a lot more. They said that too. Yeah. yeah. Right? The, yeah. The, I think they realized the, it once they saw the reaction. Oh, yeah. Jessica Gal, yeah. showrunner, and um, Pat uh, uh, Coiro, I think. Uh, Kat Coiro, Kat Coiro. was a director. Yeah. I think they all were kind of like, yeah, we started to put the show together. And once we did the Madison stuff and seeing the response online, certainly yeah. we definitely would have put her in the finale. Yeah. yeah. But dude, Absolutely. fingers crossed, like season, season two, two fingers or a look, Marvel movie with water. Guys, she made some kind of pact with a demon. So <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, I want to We know have more. to see what I happens just, yeah. there. I want to highlight, too, the moment where, where Patty Guggenheim, she's playing the character, and they. I think it's Jennifer. She Hulk so says like, "Do you want uh-huh. to go up on the stand and 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 say what you went through or whatever?" And she goes, mm, "Yeah, I love that." Like she <laughs> has this little moment where she's like, "Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I would love that." And it's so <laughs> funny. Dude. I'm gonna go back and just rewatch oh that episode. It's so, That's so, so, so good. funny. Yeah. That and scene then scene coming so up good. with Wongers, just like so yeah, the whole good. show. Oh my god, dude. Madison in the whole show. Madison. I think it's, I think it's so amazing when an actor has like a a, a cameo of sorts. Yeah. in yeah, a show yeah. or a movie like that. And yep. that you're like yeah. the talk of the town yep. for the next mm, week. It. It's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So good for it's, them. It's, it's a great, it's a great example of like that. I think we talked about this before, maybe not, but I've seen people discuss like that character could be a stereotype, mm-hmm. the mm-hmm. drunk chick yeah, at, a, right. at a bar or mm-hmm. at a club. And it's like, that could be stereotypical. That could be misogynistic. What are we saying? You know, mm-hmm. but she's treated so like, like, Belo- she's so beloved, beloved yeah. in the yeah. show, yeah. and I and and the fact that even Wong is like, okay, all right, let's go get. Yeah, some Wong yeah. taking her <laughs> seriously. Wong, like Wong Wong's hanging hang out, out with her, watching movies because it's she's so great. because Spoiling she has Sopranos for him. She yeah. has agency and like she knows what she's into, which is yeah. basically yeah. being drunk all yeah. the time, oh, and, you know, so partying. It's but so it's good. not like a um, let's all laugh at this woman, right, right, right. And it's it's storytellers. You know, uh, writers, producers, directors making the She-Hulk show, being like, let's have fun with this character. Yeah, but in yeah. a way, we're kind of embracing her and yeah, we're, we're yeah, loving yeah, her. Yeah. We're not like tearing her down. We're like, look how funny this yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. So it's good. so good. It's so, so good. good. All right. All right, the Hector. Heroes Reforged Award for Hector's Favorite Moment. Also should come as no surprise. Hector's Favorite Moment <clears throat> is Jen Walters asking Kevin, what's up with the X-Men? <laughs> And, and it's not it's it's not that line. It's her look at the t- at the <laughs> at the audience. It's her third wall break. Uh, Tatiana yeah. Maslany is maybe my favorite casting choice in mm-hmm. the MCU since like Robert Downey. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Pitch perfect casting for yep. She Hulk, Jennifer Walters, and in that moment. She's making fun of us. She's pointing to the camera and be like, mm, okay, I got you, bros. You're stupid. I got you, bros. Your stupid, dumb thing that you're actually <laughs> thinking about when you should, you know. But the <laughs> but the entire Kevin sequence. Oh, my yeah. God. Yeah. Was Such my, a good sequence. Was my when favorite. When you point out, you're like, you got a little hat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he had the little brim. Yeah. yeah. It was oh my, my favorite sequence of the year. Yeah. yeah. And it was not just great for that show, but it was like the comic book fan in me loved it so much because I'm like, this is exactly what She-Hulk mm-hmm. is for Marvel Comics. Mm-hmm. She would 
do this exact thing. When she broke through the Disney Plus layout. Yeah. Incredible. Incredible. I th- thought my shit froze. Yeah, me too. We all did. We were all like, what's, <laughs> what's going happening? on? What's yeah, happening? I was and like, that's... I was afraid because when we get issues like that, it really screws us up. Yeah. yeah. Like when that happened, and, my heart yeah. skipped. I was like, oh, fuck, we're, we're going to have to start this over yeah. again. Gonna, <laughs> what's the time code? Like, what are we doing code. here? Adam, pause. Yeah. Adam, pause. Hey. Hey. Yeah, hold on, hold on. I think I'm frozen. <laughs> yeah. Pause yeah. the recording. Yeah, just yeah, so good. such a good moment. Coming through, busting through, going into the assembled Shang-Chi, which is like the making of Shang-Chi. She, yeah. like she busted through, you know, Simu Liu tweeted about it. Like, Hey, I'm back in the MCU. Yeah. Cause, <laughs> Cause his picture was there. Yeah. But like the Kevin thing was so funny Go- going into the writer's room, walking around the Disney yeah. lot. Yeah. Disney lot. Yeah. We've been to the Disney lot. It was yep. so cool. Yeah. It was but really to, cool. To, to, and then the moment where it's like, please change back into Jennifer. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's like, expensive. Why? Because you're too expensive. <laughs> yeah. Do it off it screen. It costs us a lot of money. We can't yeah, afford that's it. Right. Yeah. Do, Do it off screen. So it's like, it's like there, go yeah. now. Yeah. Yep. How about now? Good, thank you. And she's oh in the suit. Good. Yeah. So fucking good. Yeah, All right, Adam. So cl- close out this uh, Heroes Reforged end of year spectacular First with annual your favorite moment. Heroes Reforged Awards, the final category. Adam's favorite moment. And the reforgy goes to, this should be obvious, Superman flying over Prague. That Sup- was, Superman and Lois season two. That was amazing. Yeah. That was amazing. Because yeah, we, we, we were behind on the show, obviously, and we you got cried. to that moment. You I cried. did. I did. <laughs> it was one of those things. It was like, yeah. I, I think um, just as someone who loves that character so much and he means so much to me, like I just mm-hmm. went to the comic book shop and I bought Superman Red and Blue to read because I haven't read it and I heard it's really, really good. Mm-hmm. Um, and also, you've never been, but you love the idea of Prague. You want to go there someday. Yeah, someday. you don't know what that place eventually, is like. Eventually. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, once I afford, you know, afford yeah. a plane ticket, I'll eventually go. Yeah. But yeah, but seeing two things that I love so much cross over in that way. And it's, you know, it, it doesn't... Um, I don't. I mean, I know Blade was shot in Prague, but I think it stands in for another. Oh, actually, no, yeah. I think it is Prague. But and, even uh, so, but Blade's a character that I'm like, oh, cool. Yeah, but he's not my favorite. Sure. Superman is like my dude. The Falcon yeah. and the Winter Soldier shot in Prague. Yeah, but it's standing but in for something else. Standing yeah. in for different European yeah, yeah. cities. Yeah, yeah. Which I'm like, oh, stuff. that's cool. It's Prague. Cool. Falcon Winter Soldier. Okay, cool. Yeah. But Superman, I'm like, oh my god. These are my two favorite things colliding. And they it was, didn't, it wasn't like it was, it was a three second shot. Yeah. It was just like there. It was just yeah. like a nice little Easter egg yeah, where yeah. it's just, and some, one of those creators was like, oh, somebody will like this. Yeah. <laughs> somebody, somebody might I like know, this. I, yeah. I don't even know if they, honestly, and not, not, not to, not to, di- not to take away the, the, the passion you had for the moment, Adam, but I really feel like they were like, let's just pick a city that, that we haven't been to in the show yet. Yeah. Cause earlier in the show, doesn't he go to like Japan, Mexico, or China, Mexico, yeah. like that's mm-hmm. Superman and Superman alone. Is kind of he's a worldly character. Yeah, he, yeah. Whenever yeah. they have yeah. a chance to, you know, to use some special effects and yeah. put them somewhere, yeah. they go and they fly him there and they say, Oh, now Superman is, you know, saving this boat in yeah. in in you know, the New Zealand Japan or whatever. Whatever yeah. it is. Mm-hmm. So I feel like they just took a city and it's a very beautiful European city. Mm-hmm. It's one of the most beautiful cities I've ever been to, you've ever been yeah. to. And it's this super quick blink and you'll yeah. miss it moment. Mm-hmm. And they're not even they don't even put Prague at the bottom. No, no. no. It, because it's just a Superman flyby. Yeah. It's yeah. one shot. But that moment, dude, it, it that was like, oh, representation does matter because <laughs> 100% look at Adam crying, out. and I think you and I were like, is that yeah, is that Prague? And you were like, yes! he was already crying. <laughs> you 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 know you were freaking out, freaking out. It was it was like people oh watching. It was like people watching Jim Carrey escape at the end of the Truman Show. Yeah. You're yeah. in your tub, yeah. like yes! yeah, yeah, go do it. <laughs> and Augustine and I were like, oh, cool. Yeah, we're like, holy shit, it was uh, Prague. Yeah, yeah, but that was a great awesome. moment, you yeah, guys. So that cool. was that was really fun. But we're all thank you, Hector set, and Abby you guys. For thank you, Hector together. and Abby, for making our show that our thank holiday, you. our end of year spectacular, that much more spectacular with so these good. wonderful envelopes. That's so good. Um, amazing. and yeah, maybe uh, if this is a smash hit, uh, if we get a million likes, we'll do it again next year. So <laughs> yeah. it actually is really really fun. <laughs> I, I do enjoy it. Know, yeah, it's <laughs> yeah, fun. it's a great refresher yeah. and a recap yeah. of everything that we had yeah. a chance to do. Smash yeah, that like, get a million, we'll do it again. So much stuff. Yeah. And even, you know, I mentioned Invincible thinking, because it's like it, a lot of it bleeds together. Oh, I, I feel know? like we've all done this in a year yeah. Yeah. because like it all just bleeds together. We, yeah. we watched WandaVision earlier yeah. this year. No, <laughs> earlier this year. No. That was last year. This is 2021. That's what the was the first thing we watched yeah, no. this year? Was it Moon Knight? Uh, no. This, this year, year may have been the Book of Boba Fett. Oh, Book of Boba Fett. That's it what was it was. Coming yeah. out, out it of came December. out at the end of December yeah. and it rolled into yeah. the new year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But 
Man, oh man, so much <clears throat> stuff. What a year. And we have so much awesome stuff lined up for 2023. Yeah. But if you're watching and still have not subscribed on YouTube, do that. If you're listening to our podcast, <clears throat> audio Lee, auditorially, <laughs> let your friends know. Send them the episode. Send them the podcast. Tell them, hey, these guys are funny. Check it out. But thank you all so much for the support. Thank you so much for becoming part of our Patreon. Thank you so much for subscribing. We're so close to 100,000 subscribers. If you just found this podcast on Spotify or YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts and you haven't subscribed yet, please, for the love of God, and get us to 100,000, please. <laughs> please. Please. I'm begging you. Like 170 of people left. We're so oh. close. Um, like I was saying earlier, we're going to start the year with The Last of Us. Uh, we'll obviously be, f- be finishing off Willow as well because that'll carry us over into the new year. But so much stuff on the way. I can't wait to watch some of the stuff. Some of the stuff will be new for us. Some of it will be things that we've. Some of us may have already seen. That's okay. Mm-hmm. I love mm-hmm. rewatching mm-hmm. shit with you guys. Yeah, yep. yeah. God damn, it's so fun. It's such a good time. Like such the fact that we time. got to watch four Halloween movies together, and I had already seen them like eighteen times. Fantastic. Oh my Fantastic. god, it was so fun. Yeah. It was so the fact fun. that we got to experience Prey together, like oh my that, god. Was, that was that yeah. was crazy. And also shout out crazy. to all the f- creators who worked on this stuff who, yeah. who slid into our DMs and were like, "Hey, oh, yeah. love your video." Yeah. Dan Trachtenberg, yeah. Isha, like all these amazing yeah. people all who took people. time to say like. I can't tell you anything, but I just want to say your videos are great. And yeah, like that, yeah. that was, you know, we have a, like a little discord thing that we, that where we chat and it's such a great feeling yeah, to 100%. know that people that, you know, watch they, our videos they, they and we love their stuff they, and they yeah. appreciate it. It's yeah. really, yeah. really cool. So, mm-hmm. so cheers to all of them too. To the happy new years to everybody. Yeah. Happy new year. And we'll see y'all in 2023. Season two, 2023, baby. Bye. Bye. Bye.